Hi, this is John with Stallard Technologies. We get a lot of questions over and over again, and today we're gonna to be talking about iDRAC access and setup. Dell has a card that uh, allows you to manage your system when you're not in front of it or when you don't have a uh, cable connected or anything to your system. Uh, and that's called the Dell Remote Access Controller. We're gonna be calling it the iDRAC for the rest of this video. And you can use this to manage your system remotely. First thing we're gonna do is when we enter system setup, we're gonna go to our iDRAC settings. And from there, if you go to network, that's where you'll see the default IP settings and where you can update it to a static IP if you want, or if you want to use IPv6, you can do that from here too. You'll see that we've got IPv4 enabled, and I have this one configured already to work with the system, but if you do a static IP, you just disable DHCP and put in the static IP address, static gateway, and subnet mask that you want to use. If you're in an environment where a server already exists that has a Dell Remote Access card, you can also find the IP address from the screen on the front of the system by going to the View menu, then iDRAC, Network, IPv4, and Address. You can also find it just by looking at the boot screen while the system is loading up. It should have your system name, BIOS version, and the iDRAC IP all visible while, during the boot process. Once you have the IP for your iDRAC, you're going to want to paste that into your internet browser and the default username and password for these is root and calvin. Now you're gonna wanna update this password, but I'm just gonna leave mine as default for right now, just for brevity's sake. And now that we're logged in, you'll see that we can do everything as if we were in the BIOS. We can manage our server, we can check the logs, we're even able to open up a virtual console window so we can control the system directly. And I will open that up, I already have it open, and you'll see this is where we can access BIOS, same way. This is good if you need to do uh, catch any prompts while it's booting uh, or clear any errors that are maybe stopping a boot from happening. If you have any questions about using the iDRAC, please feel free to contact our knowledgeable tech support team or our sales staff.